Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use multitasking in iOS 11 with apps that aren't in your dock. So this is a, a question that I've been getting a lot in my comments since I did my video on multitasking in iOS 11. Um, I only showed how you could use apps that are in your dock for multitasking. However, you can actually use it for um, other apps which aren't in your dock. wasn't aware that you could do this at the time, so I'm making a video now. Um, to show you how to do that. So we're all used to in iOS 11 going to an app, say I hear I've got Safari, coming up to your dock um, and dragging another app. So in this case I've got Tweetbot. I can just drag it in and do multitasking from there. We've used to that, we've had that since iOS 11 has been out and that's the standard way that most people will do it. However there is another way, if I just get rid of Tweetbot for now. Um, what you can actually do is you can use any app that you've got on your iPad so that, that isn't in your dock. So I can obviously drag things from my dock or I can go to the home screen and if I just go here, um, I've got Chrome over here, what I can do is I can tap and hold on Chrome and then I can open Safari and then actually drop Chrome in. So I can use apps, obviously Chrome here which isn't on the home screen, I just have to go to the home screen, navigate to it and drag it in. So it is possible and also you can do this with spotlight search. So if I go back home and the app isn't, say it's in a folder somewhere, or I don't know where it is, I can go here, go to spotlight search, in, which case, in this case I've got it here already, but if I had to search for it, I can search for it, tap it, go in and just overlay it into the, and I'll have my app just um, in multitasking mode. So that's basically how you can uh, do that, I just thought I'd clear that up. Because um, I've, I've been getting a lot of comments just with people asking me, oh, it's a bit bad that you can't do it with apps that aren't on your dock. But there is actually a way. I just wasn't aware of it at the time that I made my previous multitasking video. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video or any general or you want any general Apple tech advice, then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and also please do comment and subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And do also consider watching the videos either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.